Hello, welcome back. We've heard your comments that it's difficult to find a live playthrough of the Galaverse demo online, so we thought we'd supply our very own. This is the exact same demo build that was shown at Galaverse, and also, just to mention, it's our players' first time playing through, so you'll only be seeing genuine first-hand reactions here. Alright, enough chat, let's get into it. <coughs> <laughs> so, you want to start a business. You got big ideas, big dreams, big plans, but you don't got money. And that's where I come in. <laughs> I've got plenty of money. I like your pitch. Good work. Could fall flat on its face, it doesn't really matter. What matters is you. So tell me, why should I invest in you? Oh, I don't trust this guy at all. Yeah, I'm gorgeous. Mmm, I like you, Hot Lips. You've got it. Tell me about this product of yours. What is it? Patty yourself on the back. Sign here, partner. Here we are, hot lips. This is your new home. You've got everything you need to get cracking. I've got your mentor to help you get on your feet. Her name's Miss Kettlefork. She comes highly recommended. Call me Annika. I'll be back later to see how you're getting on with my money. Well, no time like the present. Let me show you how it all works. This is the design table where all the magic happens. Let's design your first burger and then I can show you how to make one. Open this drawer and drag your first part onto the design. Lovely. Now, what are you going to add next? <laughs> Choose your next part from the drawers and add it to your design. Very good. You've nearly made a basic burger. You can use as many parts in your design as your factory allows. But for this first design, I want you to keep on selecting parts from the drawers and adding them to your design. I'll let you know when it looks ready. Hit the Confirm Design button now, and we can put this marvel into production. Okay, let's start at the beginning. First, you need to gather your raw resources. Click on the farm to harvest some crops. Keep clicking until the building is full. Yes, that's good. Next, you need to drag and drop the crops from the farm to the refinery. Keep dragging your crops until you've moved them all to the refinery. Nearly done. Now you need to process the raw resources into something the factory can use. Click on the refinery to turn your crops into ingredients. Keep clicking until all of the raw resources have been refined. Excellent! Time to drag the ingredients from the refinery and drop. Keep dragging and dropping your ingredients from the refinery into the factory. Now we come to the exciting part. It's time to make your finished article. Making products is a highly skilled process. You'll need to click more. Wonderful! You've made your first burger. Now drag it over to the dispatch van and the whole cycle will be complete. That's what I'm talking about. Hard work. Some say it's its own reward, but I like real rewards, know what I mean? I see a kid like you working hard. I give. Take this. Just a little something. Plenty more where that came from. Ooh, a power-up card. They give you or your buildings a little boost. This one's for production buildings. And then drag and drop the reward. You're doing great, Hot Lips. 
I'll send an advisor down, one of my top people to keep an eye on you. Whatever they ask you to do, you do it, and they'll dish out rewards like there's no time. Right, let's get this van loaded. I've cleared out all your buildings so I can show you something else. Balloons! When a building needs your attention, a balloon will appear floating above it. Take a look at the farm. You see that blue balloon? Blue balloons indicate that the building is ready to produce something. Click on the farm until the building is full. The green balloon means that the building has items inside that are ready to be moved on. Now drag all the crops from the farm to the refinery, just like the green balloon tells you to. Time to click on the refinery and process those crops. Dragging and dropping your ingredients from the refinery to the factory. There's the blue balloon again, over the factory this time. Fabulous! That's your second product made. And we have another green balloon. You'll see other coloured balloons floating around the town, and I'll explain them when we come to them. But for now, just remember, blue means click, green means drag. made some money. You're in business, kid. Now go make me, us, some more money. Wait a second. Now that you're a bona fide entrepreneur, it's time you look the part. Let's get your CEO avatar made. Open the bottom drawer and choose yourself a pair of shoulders. Looking good. Now, which do you think best represents your management style? Now that's what I call boardroom chic. How about adding a touch of colour to your avatar? There's plenty of design options available in the paints, patterns and stickers drawers. When you're ready, click on the Confirm Design button. You can come back any time and make changes to your personal details by right-clicking on the Player House and selecting Player Info. This is a frame. The building's not ready just yet. You see the purple balloon over the top. It's telling you how much clay you need to complete its construction. This house needs three clay. 
Go to the clay mine and click on it until it's full. Now, drag and drop the clay from the clay mine to the timber frame. When you have added enough clay, the balloon will change colour to Remember, blue means click. Click on the timber frame to start building. This is a worker house. Each worker house comes with one worker. Do you see this one standing in front of their home? Dragging and dropping workers onto buildings that need staff sets them up with a job there. Drag this one to the farm and they'll start working as soon as they get inside.
Right, Luke, well, I'm going to leave you to keep playing and uh, I'm just going to come check back on your world in a, in a little bit and we'll see how far you go, okay? Lovely. Alright, we're going to skip forward by a little bit of time now and I'll show you this player's progression after they had some more time in the demo. As you can see, they have expanded, building leisure buildings, a research lab, and unlocking their first new plot of land, which brings many resources and goods with it. They've also gained access to a few new blocks to make their town stand out a little bit, but there's so much more to come for them. Let's jump forward even further in time, to a world where the player has been building and creating for around a month. As you can see, it's massive, filled to the brim with unique and colourful houses, pubs, cafes, shops, factories, as well as many other buildings which all have their own special uses. Well, that was the playthrough you've been asking for. I hope this video has addressed some concerns and I'll have another, more conventionally structured dev diary for you in the coming weeks. Until then, Stay well, and thanks for watching.